Hello again, back with some more Valiant Thor facts. Um, this is actually my response to the guy who actually gave me this thing here, showing me, but saying that there's no comparison between the gentleman called Valiant Thor right here and Frank Ernest Changes right here. Now, I would like to thank you for doing that for me, of course, because I don't know how to do this stuff, but... I have to say, sir, that um, regardless of that, yes, it is Frank Ernest Strangers, okay? Because I was trying to tell people about the comparisons, okay, of the ear, but as you can see, his face is not like facing like he's facing in order to get the actual result, which is to show us that it is Frank, okay? And there's no disputing the, um, the photograph that I've showed you guys of a young... Frank Ernest Strangers, okay, this is from the archives of the Minnesota, okay, the archives from the Minnesota um, Bible Seminary, which he went to, <clears throat> so there is no disputing that that's him, okay, and I understand people was, are going to continue to tell me that that's not him, but there is no denying that that's Frank Ernest Strangers, okay, that's him, it's the same gentleman, so, you know, I know you're going to continue to tell me that that's not him, but let me tell you, this is Frank Ernest Strangers on the screen you're looking at right now on this picture. That matches completely, 100%, the description of that gentleman at Howard Menger's UFO Alien Conference in 1956 or 1957. And I already told you guys why I believe it was 1956. Anyways... I do appreciate that he did, he did show the photograph with the ear comparison, okay? Again, if you look closely at the ear, right? I'm talking to the gentleman who made this, this photograph comparison. Once again, as you age, your ear gets a little longer. And I'm not lying to you. Trust me when I tell you. As we age, everything changes in your body, okay? You no longer look as you used to look, young, handsome looking, you know. So, you can tell, of course, remember, by the side where he's at, you can still see comparisons to it. Look, look, at, look at the ear clearly, and you can clearly see it's 100% match. The only difference is Frank's ear is a little longer now because he's older, okay? Now... If you also look at his other photographs, as I was trying to make a point to you guys that, okay, this is him now, right? Let's just say. But as he got older, and I can show you photographs now, you'll see his ear is a lot longer now than it did when he took this picture right there. See? So my point is that you have, you're the same man, okay? The only difference is your body changes. And if you cannot accept that fact, then that means that you're the one in denial, not me. This is not something that I just started investigating and decided to just do this. This is something like I've done for a couple years, like I told you guys, over five years. And this is something that I carefully looked into before I made these conclusions that this story is a hoax. Like I said, all you got to do is start with the Howard Menger um, story, which in itself is a hoax okay and it starts from there but anyways like I said those ears match 100% 100% you're not looking clearly because like I said if this gentleman of Frank if he was facing in this photograph the same way he was facing right here you would get a hundred percent match a hundred percent match and as far as the other guy, let me go Jesse Womble's head that I showed you guys. I'm going to go to it right now, okay? This is the gentleman who they took his head and put it on Frank Ernest Strange's body to make it look like this Val Valiant Thor is not Frank. Didn't you understand what I told you when I broke down step by step in, all, in a couple of my videos how it was done? You can clearly see that the photographs have been altered, okay? From the group photo, which 
I've already shown you guys the real group photo. And then there's the altered group photo that Augustine Roberts made. Okay? He is the man behind all these switcheroos, games, if you want to call them that. But yet, you guys are not believing me when I tell you that he used the method that has been used for many years. To this very day, they still do use those methods. Use celebrities' heads on other people's bodies. But you're not going to believe me that Augustine Roberts did that? Come on, guys. You know? Again, you don't have to believe me if you don't want to. That's okay. You know, because... I'm not here to make people believers if they don't want to believe. That's fine by me. Okay? So telling me that when I showed you the side-by-side -side photographs of Frank Ernest Strangers with Womble. With Womble's head, by the way. Let me go to it right now. No. I know it's not an easy thing to... uh to accept okay no it's not let me go to it right now right here all right you said that his ear does not look the same right because of the angle where he's where he's um looking at right i've already made that 100 percent clarification for you if you look at his hairline, it does not look like the other side of the other guy. Why would they show two different sides looking different? Now, if you, sir, have two different type of hairlines, can you please show me? Can you please show me anyone in this planet who has two different hairlines on both sides of his face? You know, you got the... the one way on your hair goes one way this side and then one way on this other side. And like I just showed you, the way it looks like he combs his hair, it does not look like he combs his hair from right to left. Okay? He does not have wavy hair. If you look if you look at that gentleman clearly, you can see he does not have wavy hair. It looks like he combs his hair from front to back, even from the side, you can see. It looks like he combs his hair from front to back. That's how it looks to me. I don't know how it looks to you guys, but that's how I see it. Let me show you the other photograph. One second. As I look for the other one. And again, I know people are going to still challenge it. And that's fine. You can. You can challenge it. I know. I'm a mess here, guys. I know. I'm a mess when it comes to knowing how to do this right. All right. So you tell me that this guy is the same guy that I just showed you, Jesse Womble, right? Right? You guys think that that's him? That's not the same guy. That is not the same guy. Because, like I said, you can clearly see how he combs his hair. Okay? He combs his hair differently. It looks like he combs his hair, obviously, to, to the right. From left to right. From left to right. From left to right. Wavy hair. There he goes. He's combing his hair from left to right. This gentleman does not look like he combs his hair that way. He looked like he combs his hair from front to back. As it indicates right there that that's what he does. This guy, you can see that he combs, of course, the side from front to back, but it does not look the same as that over here. It looks different. Look at the hairline again. It looks different. All right? So, I mean, I don't understand how is it hard for you guys to acknowledge the fact that it looks different, but you're saying that it's the same guy. It's not the same guy. I promise you it's not the same guy. Even down to the tip of his hairline right here next to his ear, right? Look at it. And then you go down to this guy. Yeah, I know you're going to say because the angles look different. It's not the same guy. 
Even the ear does not match the one that we're looking at right here. It does not match. Okay? And again, it's your opinion. If you believe that, that they are one and the same person, more power to you. But there is no disputing, okay, the photograph that I showed you guys of a young Frank Ernest Stranges at his Bible study. Okay? His Bible group there. There's no dispute in that photograph. And that is the same gentleman that was at Howard Menger's home. The Valiant Thor. So, if you're going to sit there and tell me that that's not Frank, okay? You can look it up for yourself and you will see that it's in the archive of the uh, Bible, North Central Bible Institute, okay? Of Minnesota, the state Minnesota. And you will see that this is Frank Ernest Strange's. Okay, he did attend just like he said he did. Did he expect us to be looking at his past? Maybe not. Okay, because nobody really, or maybe they, maybe there was some people that questioned that story because of course it doesn't make sense. But some of you people out there think that this story makes sense. It doesn't make no sense at all. Okay, it doesn't make no sense at all. And then you would think that if that's the case, then why didn't he have solid evidence to prove that Valiant Thor is real. But you're telling me, sir, that an old man walking around showing photographs of the 1950s claiming that those people were Venusians, aliens, of course, right? And then he can't show you photographs after the 1950s. So to you, that means that this story is real? I'm sorry, but that does not, for me... It does not have any solid evidence proving that his claim is correct. It's actually the obvious and the opposite. This is Frank Ernest Strange's, okay? So for you to think he didn't sit at Howard Menger's home, then, like I said, there's something wrong with you guys out there, okay? Now, of course, I know you guys are going to be on some, oh, well, Phil Snyder said this and that, and I net, listen, you guys gotta stop merging the two stories together. Frank Ernest Strange's story is different from Phil Snyder's story, okay? Stop merging them together. It's not the same person, all right? Like I told y'all, common sense, if this was a real story, why is it that August C. Roberts, that's Argus Charles Roberts, the, photo the photographer, right? Why wasn't he and Frank together on all this? Walking and doing lectures with books and, and stuff. Letting people know that he really took pictures of Venusians. Why does it have to be Frank? He wasn't the one that took the pictures, right? Right? He wasn't the one that was at Howard Menger's home, right? Right, guys? Okay, so... It really doesn't make sense that someone who was not there at the event would be the one showing these photographs of a gentleman who he claimed was from Venus. Now, I would expect that it be Augusty Roberts, Howard Menger, or any of those people that attended Howard Menger's conference, that small conference at his home in Highbridge, New Jersey. Okay? Yeah, Frank too, yes, but later on, right? If you believe that Frank wasn't Valiant Thor, then that means Frank did not attend, right? But you know what the funny part is, guys? That, again, I got to keep saying this because you guys clearly are not listening to what I'm saying out there. This gentleman, okay, Frank Ernest Strange, has been into the UFO alien phenomenon since 1945, as he already said. This comes from his mouth himself. From interviews, he said, this ain't from me. I ain't made it up, okay? So, you mean to tell me that he never attended Giant Rock for George Van Tassel's Giant Rock Convention? UFOs? You mean to tell me that he didn't see those movies of the 1951, which it says, um, you know, uh, something about the Earth or whatever it was. I can't think of it now, see? I, I just, I get frustrated thinking about this story because it really... It's a hoax, guys. And it's one that sounds so believable. <laughs> That's the part about it. Okay? So, 
Then you got the movie of the 1954, which is called um, Stranger from Venus. Okay, a 1954 movie. So if you guys want to go ahead and, and, you know, and say this is all real, go ahead, fine. Like I said, all that money you're spending on these stories, I say good luck, man. I mean, if that's what you want to do with yourselves and, you know, buy these books with these guys who are just making a fool out of you because you're the one buying the books or going to their lectures that cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars just so they can feed you a whole bunch of bull crap. I've already told you guys clearly that if it was me, clearly, if it was me experiencing these things, I would try my best to show every single one of you guys out there the event is real. Not like Howard Menger did that he brought people to his home and sh showed him UFOs from a distance, okay, which I believe were his, his little drones, UFO drones that he had. That he was flying around with lights and stuff and people would be like, oh, wow, all amazed, not realizing that it was all bu bullshit. His dad, his brother, you know. Now, this is before his dad died, of course, in 1957 and his brother as well. But I'm just saying, guys, you know, don't believe me, though. You ain't got to believe me, you know. I'm just a normal civilian trying to find out stuff. So, you guys can do whatever you want. Believe, disbelieve. Hear the ringing tone in the background? <laughs> but anyways, that's beside the point. And true honesty, guys, I have to say, man, that just investigate. Investigate the story. And you'll see there's too much holes in this story. Even if you don't believe... That Frank Ernest Stranges is Valiant Thor, which, of course, is the gentleman right there, Frank himself. Okay, so even if you don't believe it's him, there's still holes in the story. You're not going to enter the Pentagon with no, with no access. I'm sorry, but that's just not going to happen. So that's like you guys trying to belittle the government, making it seem like just anyone can go in there without clearance. It doesn't work that way. Not not yesterday and not today. Not back then and not today. So it's funny that they use these rumors of, uh, which of course I believe Frank Ernest Strangers did and others still do. They use the rumors of um, the then president Dwight Eisenhower that supposedly he met aliens in 1954 and in 1955. So they go in on those rumors, okay, which of course... If you can't prove it, just because you got a bunch of fucking old men talking about this and that, but yet they can't provide any proof, who's at fault? That's what you got to tell me. Who's at fault? You guys will be at fault because you're listening. You're listening to something that does not have anything to stand on. That's why I say it's kind of funny because Frank Ernest Strange's he used dead people in his book. That way, of course, no one could confirm the story. All right? So that's what I'm getting at. And like I said, he wouldn't be the first one proclaiming to be a Venusian. Okay? The only way that he, he used it in a different way, like I already described it to you guys. Frank Ernest Strange just did it, whereas he's showing you a photograph of himself as a young man. And he's proclaiming himself to be a Venusian. But you guys don't get that though, right? Because it's too hard for you guys to acknowledge that this man, who couldn't make up his mind, okay, who lied plenty of times. I'm not saying we're perfect on this planet. No one's perfect on this planet. But if you pay attention to the things that he's done and he said, then you start to question why. Why? Why does he say these things and then he do this thing? Okay? Why did he try selling diplomas to people for $25 without a license? Why did he marry a 19-year-old girl? Come on, think about that. Think about that. 